we watching is disgusting. Okay, and obviously that's really controversial. That's really gonna insult a lot of people. Oh, yeah. Okay, deal with it. It's disgusting, and I can prove that with science that it's unsanitary, unclean over an extended period of time. Emphasis extended period of time. This was all inspired by this person. You can go see her and her like um, talking on and on, and me talking on and on back to her. On this video I did call Your Questions Answered, I'll link that down below in the video, you can see her and see her like this blah, 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 unless she wants to delete her comments. I welcome her to delete her own comments, okay, because I deleted her comments. Because you don't have to curse at somebody to be disrespectful and rude, and just like, just rude, rude, rude. You don't have to be cursing cuss words. What do you F, F, F? No, you don't have to do that. She was cussing me out without cursing me because she has like, she's a hater. Be honored that I'm talking about you on my video. Oh my god! You can go watch that video and you can see her comments. She was saying that water only washing is beneficial and you can get rid of the dirt from scratching when you scratch the scalp and get the dirt off. And I was saying to her that it can encourage bacterial and fungal growth. And I thought that was very plain, very clear. I said, what about bacterial and fungal growth? Excessive growth, harmful bacteria, you can get sick. I said that very clearly, very plainly. I thought this was a common sense, normal point. Now, don't get me wrong, I think water only washing is good to an extent, but not for the rest of your life, not over an extended period of time. And I said that. And obviously she didn't understand and she kept going on and on and on and she was really, really offended. Okay, so you understand. Now, basically, I'm gonna give you the scientific facts. Dr. Mehmet Oz, he is a certified PhD doctor. Somebody asked him the question, why do I have to use soap? Can I cleanse my skin with just water? And he said no. Certain oils and impurities are present on the skin that are not easily dissolvable in water. You need a surfactant to break up those impurities so that water can wash them away. Obviously, if you remain occluded by bacteria and impurities, you're gonna increase the chances of getting sick. That's why people say wash your hands so you don't get a cold. Like this is common sense. If we didn't need soap, we wouldn't need dishwashing liquid, we wouldn't need bath soap, we wouldn't need bleach, we wouldn't need laundry detergent. Why do they make those products? Why? If we could just clean our home and our bodies with water, why do they make bleach, laundry detergents, soap, all these surfactants? Why? Because you need soap to break down certain impurities that cannot be broken down by water alone. Very simple point. And we get these impurities in our scalps as well. We are actually largely comprised of bacteria. That is also a scientific fact. Go look down below in one of those articles. I have all my points listed. She's like, you can't prove your point. Yes, I can prove my point. It's proven by Dr. Mehmet Oz, a real doctor, and also other doctors. You need surfactants to clear away impurities. An excess and buildup of impurities on the skin or scalp or hair or any part of the body will increase the chances of sickness and disease. Like, honestly, like, I swear to God. Another point. History, medieval times, the Black Plague. It was common in medieval times for people not to take baths. Why? Because it was a religious thing. They thought it was impure to get naked and take a bath. Oh, it's impure to wash the skin. They also felt like the water would open up the pores of the skin. It was undone. Now, this is not their fault. Human beings as a race, just as a people, have to learn. I don't look down on people for not knowing certain things. But once you know, you do better. People in the medieval times, this is also documented down below, they were like, oh, I wonder why everybody's getting sick and dying. Why are we getting sick and dying? Oh, I think if we wash a little bit more, we'll, we won't get as sick. And a lot more of the rich people, people who are more affluent and have more money, bathe a little bit more, and so they were able to stave off a lot of the sickness. Okay? And a lot of the sicknesses that pervaded people during the Black Plague and the medieval times don't even bother any of us today. They still exist. If you're nasty or are exposed to the wrong situation, you can get sick with it, but it hardly pervades, okay? And you're like, well, I'm not around anything nasty. As I said, I don't know if I said this point because there are a lot of little points. Bacteria comprise our skin. There's a lot of good bacteria on our skin and in our bodies, okay? We need that good bacteria. It's in our scalps, it's on our skins, it's in the air. Bacteria is everywhere. We are teeming with bacteria. However, at times, from time to time, from different substances in the air or on surfaces, like this is a surface, we may come in contact with some harmful bacteria. And when those harmful bacteria come into contact with our skin, it's not going to automatically make us sick and make us get sick and fungus and stuff like that, no. But 
it's gonna build up. And if you're just rinsing yourself off with water, and as Dr. Mehmet Khan said, certain impurities and bacteria cannot be cleared off with water, a lot of that's gonna stick there and it's gonna build up and it's gonna stick, just like on the scalp. It's gonna build up, it's gonna stick, it's gonna build up. And what cause bacteria fungal growth and infection? It doesn't have to be a fungal growth, any kind of little disease. Okay, you get little bumps or whatever. Okay, that's what happens when you water only wash for years at a time. I'm not talking about little sticks, but oh, but people have done it for six months at a time. But what? We live in an industrialized society and they've been washing themselves with soap for years and years and years. Let somebody go and try not water only wash for two, three, four, five years at a time. I guarantee they will get sick. Okay, water only wash, no soap. Don't, don't half it. Don't half it. You will get sick two, three, five years. You will get sick sick eventually. It's not sanitary because there's bacteria in the air. People go to the bathroom, I've seen it firsthand. People go to the bathroom and touch their hair after and they don't wash their hands when they go to the bathroom and then they touch their hair. That's bacteria. Oh, I don't need to wash my hair, but what about all that nasty fecal and urinal bacteria all over your hair that you've been touching and you don't wash that and that's all up in your hair and oh, water's gonna rinse that up? Water's gonna rinse that up? Oh, but I wash my hands when I go to the bathroom. People touch your hair. Oh, you have a cute afro. Let me touch your afro. Now, that's not going to make you sick. No, you don't need to be a germaphobe about that. But what? If you're doing that for years, that's going to make you sick because a lot of that bacteria will not be rinsed away and cleaned away with just water. You need some sort of surfactant. Now, you don't have to use soap, but you need to use something, albeit natural or not, that has some sort of cleansing property. Vinegar is proven to cleanse vinegar and baking soda as well. Okay, you need something that is scientifically proven to cleanse, whether it be natural or a man-made shampoo or a gentle shampoo. Yes, you do need to wash and shampoo your scalp. You cannot, on a continuous basis for the rest of your life, never shampoo your scalp. It is unwise, it's scientifically unfounded and impure. It will lead to the overproduction of bacteria, impurities, and potential fungal growth and disease. This is a scientific fact, okay? Now, feel free to review my article. I am not just speaking off the fly. These are not opinions. This is based in science. Now, let's review. Will it automatically make you sick? No, but by not washing with some sort of cleanser, some sort of real cleanser, whether that be vinegar or shampoo or baking soda. Baking soda is not good for the hair anyway. It's very basic and it's not good for you to shampoo your hair. Baking soda, don't do that, okay? The pH is way off for the hair. Now, I suggest diluted vinegar or some sort of shampoo, whether that be regular, traditional, more scientific shampoo or an all naturally made shampoo. You don't use that. What's that gonna do? You're encouraging the buildup of bacteria. And as you live your life, unless you live in a sterile bubble, you would have to live your life in a sterile bubble where scientists cleanse the air and all the surfaces in that bubble, and you come in contact with nobody but yourself. And nobody lives under those conditions. So you need to wash your hair because what you live in this world and you do not live in a sterile bubble. You are laying yourself careless to potential disease and sickness. That is a scientific fact, not my opinion. Go read the article. Nothing in all the years of me being on YouTube do I ever present anything that's not based in fact. Now, I'm a human. I learn just like you. But I don't speak things that I don't know to be true. And I don't speak things that are just my truth. If it's just my truth, I'm going to present that as an opinion. But if it's a fact, I'm going to say it's a fact. And you can, just like you have a right to live your life and say the sky is green, you have a right to not agree with scientific fact but you will always be disproven. As long as you're not violating some sort of judicial law, you can live as you like and do as you please, okay? You can say the sky is green all day, but you will be refuted scientifically. Certain facts can never be refuted, and that's my point, okay? Like, I'm not just trying to be right here. I'm trying to look for the truth. I'm a truth seeker, not a right seeker, okay? Truth seeker. Now, this is science. You cannot negate science. That's the end of this. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. I'll talk to you later. When I